Widowmaker heart attack is the most serious heart attack that we see. It has the highest mortality rate and the highest complication rate. It's called the Widowmaker because it has a higher incidence of death associated with it than other heart attacks. A Widowmaker heart attack differs from other types of heart attack basically based on location. This heart attack happens from a blockage in a specific artery called the left anterior descending coronary artery, which is on the front wall of the heart. Because it supplies the majority of heart tissue, it has a more deadly prognosis when this happens to a patient. Symptoms of a Widowmaker heart attack are very similar to any heart attack that we see. It's the classic things that we think of, chest pain, chest pressure, shortness of breath, palpitations, dizziness, sweatiness, uh, lightheadedness, and sometimes people can even pass out from this. Now it can happen to women and men, so some people think because it's called Widowmaker, it only happens to men, but that's not accurate. Women can suffer the same type of heart attack as well. Heart attacks affect all ages, and we've seen a dramatic increase in younger patients. So this is not only for older patients anymore. We have to be aware of this. Survival rate for Widowmaker heart attacks depends on if the patient gets timely medical care or if they do not. If someone has a Widowmaker blockage and they do not get timely medical care, the mortality rate is very high. Some studies even quote it over 70%. With adequate medical care and advancements in medical therapy, we can decrease that to less than 10%. The most important thing with any heart attack, and especially the Widowmaker, is timing to medical treatment. The quicker you're evaluated and treated, the better you're going to do as far as outcomes. If you're concerned about a heart attack, do not delay. You should call 911. 911 is by far the fastest way to have you assessed by trained medical personnel and the fastest way to get to a hospital. A lot of people think I should just jump in the car and drive to my ER because it'll be quicker. But that's actually a bit of a misnomer because when EMT services arrive, they can start treatment right away, even before arrival at the hospital. They can transmit EKGs to the hospital so we know what's happening when you arrive at the door. Calling 911 and being transported by emergency personnel is extremely important with heart attack because it, delay, or it decreases significantly the time to treatment, which is the most important factor. We can decrease our chances of having these heart attacks by decreasing blood pressure, having our cholesterol numbers under control, avoidance of excess alcohol, avoidance of smoking, increasing our exercise, and improving heart health. If we do all of those things, then we're much less likely to have any form of heart attack, and specifically the Widowmaker being the highest mortality that we see. Coronary calcium scoring is one tool we use to assess likelihood of blockages in the arteries. It does give us an indication of where that blockage is located. It oftentimes doesn't tell us the exact severity, but at least gives a really good indication. Premier Health offers a heart screening that you can schedule online or through my chart that gives you a good baseline as far as your coronary calcium score and likelihood of having significant coronary disease.